Ever wondered why getting hired in the fourth quarter seems like a Herculean task? It's as though you're trying to sprint through a maze, blindfolded, with your shoes on the wrong feet. The fourth quarter. It's that time of the year where everything feels like it's winding down, and yet your job search seems to be ramping up. There's a common misconception floating around that companies put a full stop on hiring during the fourth quarter. The holiday season is around the corner, budgets are closing, and everyone seems more interested in planning their vacations than filling job vacancies. This creates a challenging landscape for job seekers, with the pressure to land a job before the year ends, adding to the normal stress of job hunting. The fourth quarter challenge can seem daunting, but remember, every challenge presents an opportunity. But what if we told you, there's a method to this madness, a way to navigate the fourth quarter hiring maze. To crack the code first, we need to understand what the fourth quarter means for companies. Picture this, it's the final stretch of the fiscal year. Companies are in the throes of wrapping things up, evaluating their performance over the past months and planning for the year ahead. It's a busy, bustling period filled with strategic meetings and budget reviews. The fourth quarter isn't just about ending the year on a high note, but it's also about setting the stage for the next year. This is where hiring comes into play. Companies are assessing their needs for the upcoming year, deciding which roles need to be filled, and allocating budget accordingly. However, it's not as straightforward as it sounds. The uncertainty of the new fiscal year and budget constraints can make hiring decisions during this period a bit tricky. Now that we know why it's a tricky period, let's explore how to turn the tables in our favor. It's time to strategize and the first step is to stay ahead of the game. Picture yourself as a chess player, each move calculated, each decision weighted. Your job search should be no different. Let's start with early applications. The fourth quarter is a unique time of year. Companies are finalizing their budgets for the next year and identifying gaps in their workforce. This is your cue to get your application in early. Remember the early bird always gets the worm. Now let's talk about networking. It's a term that's thrown around a lot, but what does it really mean? It means creating connections, building relationships, and tapping into opportunities. It's reaching out to old colleagues, attending industry events, or even striking up a conversation at your local coffee shop. You never know who might be able to connect you with your next opportunity. And while we're on the subject of networking, let's not forget about LinkedIn. This platform is a goldmine for job seekers. It's a place to showcase your skills, connect with industry professionals, and even find job postings. So, dust off your profile and start connecting. Next on our strategy list is tailoring your resume. A one-size-fits-all resume is a thing of the past. Today it's all about customization. This means aligning your skills and experiences with the job description. Make it clear why you're the best fit for the role. Show them that you've done your homework and that you're not just another applicant. Lastly, let's address cover letters. They might seem old-fashioned, but they're your chance to tell your story. Use it to highlight your accomplishments, your passion, and why you're interested in the role. Remember, your resume shows what you've done, but your cover letter shows who you are. While these strategies are crucial, there's one more factor that can make a world of difference. So stay tuned as we delve into the power of persistence in the next scene. Ever heard the saying, persistence pays off? Well, in the fourth quarter, it's your secret weapon. Imagine a scrappy underdog, tirelessly chasing their dreams, not deterred by the barrage of no's or the chilling silence that follows their job applications. They're not just hopeful, they're relentless. This narrative isn't just for the movies, it's the reality of many successful individuals who shook off the dust of rejection and pressed on. Let's talk about Sarah, who is job hunting during a particularly challenging fourth quarter. After countless applications and several interviews, she was on the brink of giving up. But Sarah chose to persist. She followed up on her applications, connected with potential employers, and showcased her determination. And guess what? She landed a job that was a perfect fit for her skills and aspirations. Or think about Tom, who faced rejection after rejection. He could have easily thrown in the towel, but instead, he decided to double down and continue his pursuit. His persistence led him to a job that not only valued his skills, but also offered him a supportive work environment. These stories underline one fundamental truth. Persistence is powerful. It's a force that can turn the tide in your favor, even in the challenging fourth quarter. It's not just about sheer willpower. It's about resilience, patience, and a steadfast belief in your capabilities. So in the fourth quarter, persistence isn't just key, it's king. 
The fourth quarter might seem like a labyrinth, but remember, every maze has an exit. As we've journeyed through this topic, we've unraveled the intricacies of the fourth quarter and its impact on hiring. We've discovered that it's not a period of inactivity, but rather, a time when companies are finalizing their plans for the upcoming year. And often, those plans involve new hires. We've demystified the process, revealing that understanding the fourth quarter isn't just about knowing the when, but also the why and the how. The why being the reasons companies hire during this period, and the how being the strategies they use. We've also discussed the importance of having a strategy as a job seeker. In the fourth quarter, being strategic means being proactive, being persistent, and being patient. It's about knowing when to make your move and how to make it count. But above all, we've stressed the power of persistence. The fourth quarter is a test of determination, a test of resilience. It's not about the number of times you get knocked down, but the number of times you get back up. So equip yourself with these strategies and turn the fourth quarter from a challenge into an opportunity. After all, the end of one chapter is just the beginning of another.